Hey guys, welcome back from an episode of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last episode we was actually in, I think it was Cloud Sanctuary. Was it Cloud Sanctuary? I don't think it was. It's something like Cloud Temples. Cloud Temples, that's where it was. Why am I going to check? I know it's Cloud Temples, but today we're going to be going to Mystic Marsh, which is kind of a bit of a... It's an easy level, but there's a lot to do in it, and you'll, like, you'll see that when we get in there. There's so many side quests, and I think this world's pretty, pretty huge. Like, it's not really that big, but as you can see, there's some kind of wizards controlling... The fountain looks like, and some kind of elephants, which... Are they elephants? S snail elephants, I guess? I, I don't know. And so the water's turned off, and then they lose power, and the elephants get big, and they get angry at the wizards. That's literally the plot of this level. <laughs> How simple. Okay, so what is our duty of the level, then? What do we need to do? What's our mission? Tell me. Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Okay, will do. So one thing I've learned from Spyro, it's normally like there's no bad force, it's normally just someone turned off the water fountain. So this level's pretty cool. It's, it works by, oh god, get lost monkey. It works by having multiple layers to it, so there's three different layers like to the left us right now, and these layers are just high up parts of the, of the level. There's even a, a little high, ooh. What the hell? I literally jumped an elephant then. I don't know how I did that. Okay, this elephant's trying to get my nerves here. Okay, it's fine. I just want to get rid of the monkey. Uh, the power-up, by the way, in this level is pretty boring. Um, what the hell? How the hell did you get up there, elephant? Okay, I I'm not going to ask how he got up there, but very interesting. Like, he, he managed to get up top. So, one thing I don't like about this level is how big and one of the quests, that quests is, is in, in this level. It is absolutely huge. There is three orbs and 400 gems. So, in this level, there is three orbs. I'm not going to lie, the orbs in this level are probably some of the more annoying orbs in the game. And if you, if you never walk through, they will be very difficult to get. Well, one of them would be... Uh, if you play this game, you would know the one I'm on about. And we're actually going to get to it in probably... I'd say 10 seconds, right over here. Uh, is it over here? No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was in this building over here. I think it's the one behind, actually. I think it's that one right behind us. So there's a hidden building, which you can easily miss. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Yep. Right in here is where the, the quest is. The annoying quest. Ah, Spyro. So glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Uh, perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Okay. So we have got an egg, and, we, and with this... It's kind of like a big old fetch quest. We have to eat this egg and find a place for the egg. And it's kind of like one by one we're actually going to get new items to actually use in different places. Like, like currently the egg has no relevance right now. It it has no relevance. We don't know where it goes. But as you can see, we have actually got it in our mouth, I think. Do we still have it in his mouth? I don't know. Sparrow might have eaten it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where the egg goes, but there is a certain place for each item we're going to get here. So, of course, it's going to be for an orb. And oh, for God's sake, I, I'm just going to leave these guys here. I just don't want to deal with them because I feel like I'm going to die. I was trying to actually get the special power up active, but you know, we took way too much damage. So we need to find a place for an egg. And eggs normally go with eagles. I, I presume it's going to be some kind of bird. I, I, I actually have no idea, by the way, but I presume it's going to be some kind of bird. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a place where it can go. Oh, we do. We just have it in his mouth. So so it does oh, balls, man. I'm taking a lot of damage in this episode. Oh, for God's sake. I di we didn't even hit a checkpoint, did we? Did we hit a checkpoint? I hope we did. Please say we did. Oh, this is a checkpoint? Okay, I'm, I'm happy. I'm not going to deny that. I'm very happy. Uh, can we actually kill these guys now? I want to kill these guys. Die. <laughs> I just wanted to get a bit of revenge, to be honest. Uh, bye. Getting a bit of revenge. You might have just seen a giant duck back down the bottom, by the way. I'll show that off in case there's some gems down there. There's a giant duck. Yeah. And uh, don't worry, the duck will have some relevance later on. I feel like in this level, like, it's just, it's very mystic because there's just so much strange antics going on. There's not just, like, one thing. There's so much weird stuff. Like, especially with the egg, which I presume we have to go back and get that from um, the festival. But we'll, but we'll get that later on. Like, it's not really a big thing. I just wanted to activate the quest. Uh, like, what the hell, man? This elephant, man. I thought, <laughs> like, they're too fast, man. They're too fast. Okay, so this should activate the, the power up of the level, which is, you probably guessed it. It's a spring power-up. So yeah, exciting stuff, which I don't like there's a spring power-up, and I feel like it's a bit of a, oh god, a bit of a waste to start with, like, as, as this is a power-up now. And this world, I was actually get around a bit easier and stuff. 
Uh, by the way, there's actually a little easter egg over here on these coins. Uh, I'm trying to zoom in on them. So on these coins, there's actually a, a guy's face on them. I don't know if you can see that there is a guy face and this is an easter egg. So yeah, this guy on the ki uh, on the good old coin is actually Dan Johnson. He appeared in every other Insomniac game today after Spyro 2 and I feel it for him because he passed away soon after, well, just before Ratchet and Clank uh, Size, uh, Size Matters came out, which I have done on my channel. And when someone does lose a life, I do like to see re uh, like references to them. But even even before he um, he did pass away, um, he did work on a lot of Insomniac games such as Ratchet and Clank and Spyro, and that's why. Well, to start with, like it was kind of added in as a bit of a, ban uh, a bit of banter, to be honest. He was added in because. He, he just wanted to put himself in the game, so so he did, and he's actually in every single Insomniac game other than Spyro 1, so, uh, well, every little Insomniac game after Spyro 2, I, I think that's the better judgement, I actually want to get the egg now, uh, but yeah, it's just, when, when you see something like that, that cool, by the way, do you have it? Here's another. Okay, so so if you lose the egg, he'll just give you another one, which is always good, since we died, I didn't know where I put it. And Dan Johnson, like I said, he appears in a lot of games. In, in some games, he actually appears as a character, by the way, which is pretty... That's pretty cool, if you think about it. Like, appearing as a character in a game. Like, how often do you get that in a game? That's pretty epic, isn't it? Okay, so I'm actually having a look around, because I feel like I'm going to miss something in these trees. Or just fall off. That that's, that's just as bad. Okay, I did miss something over here next to this rhino. Is it a rhino? A rhino with a tortoise shell? I, th I think it might be. Okay, we're going to fire the egg out here. I just want to get rid of the bloody thing. Ah, so you can see a little plant over there, a uh, plant put. You may be thinking, oh, this is so random. No, nothing in this level is random. Everything in this level is here for a reason. And <laughs> it's very weird because, like, if you think about it, you might n not know, like, what every relevance is, but I'm telling you, this quest is annoying. I'm pretty sure we could actually put the egg in that. Do, do you think we can? No. Okay, as you can see, the egg does not want to go in the pot, I don't think. Uh, each... Item has its own. Ah, I remember where this goes now. Each item actually has its own place to go, and you can't really, you can't jump areas if that makes sense. You can't go and use one one item in a different area because it has to be set in a certain place. So I have been highlighting certain things to actually be aware of. So I'm pretty sure this is where the egg goes, right up here in this good old nest. You know, let's try to get up there. Boom, and let's see what's gonna happen. So the bird's gonna come in and he's gonna drop something, which is gonna be. A plum, and if you remember, we have just seen a plant pot right over here, and this is where the plant pot go. Uh, the balls. Okay, I, I almost fell in there. And this is where the next item goes, which is right here. I know I've got I've got gems to collect, and I've still got another, another orb to get, but I just want to get it started. And it's going to go somewhere else, but this is going to spawn a duck. So I did highlight a duck <laughs> earlier on, right at the bottom of the map, right over here. I do find it kind of funny how this quest in the game. I do like it, don't get me wrong, but it's just having to go back and forth, and if this is your first playthrough, you might easily be like, what? What? I remember my first time I did this quest, I was amazed. But there's the duck, and they should spawn a radish, yeah. And the radish goes in a cauldron, which we haven't actually seen yet. Um, which I'll point out where that is in a little bit. Uh, it's it's right, right where we just were, with the, it's with the tree. Uh, to, to be honest, it's a pretty short quest if you don't know where you're looking. But since I've done this quest so many times, like ever since I was a kid, it's it's kind of like second nature to me. Uh, balls, don't 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 no 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 don't no no no. Okay, get out, Spyro. Oh, thank God, I didn't want to lose radish and have to redo it all. Oh no no, balls. No, I lost the radish. No, God damn it. God damn it. That's annoying. That is very. Oh, for God's sake, I'm gonna have to redo it all, aren't I? There's an extra life over here. Yep, I just failed big time. So if you make any mistakes, the professor just let, lets you reset and just lets you do it again. Because normally, you can still encounter with a thing. But since, since we died in the ground, um, under underwater, there's no way for us to actually get the radish back. I don't think. Unless it spawns out uh, in public, which it could do. Uh, by public, I mean balls, man. Those things. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hmm. I must have dozed off there. Gully, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and um, don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? Okay, so I was right, he did actually let it die. By the way, I love how Spyro still got the egg in his mouth. 58 orbs, great. Um, I love how I actually guessed what the plot was going to be. Like, a lot of the plots, like, like I mentioned in this game, isn't actually, like, it's not a bad thing. Like, nothing bad's actually happened, it's just someone's made a mistake. And I like the idea that in this game, people make mistakes. You know, it's not just like, oh, 
no one, everyone's perfect, you know? I think it's always kind of crazy when you play a game like Spyro and you actually realize things like life, life facts and life things, you know? Like things that can be like, oh, oh wow, you know? Whatever. Do you get what I mean? Like things like everyone makes mistakes and stuff like I just mentioned. If I didn't, if I, if I ever played this game before and I didn't know, like you won't, you wouldn't realize like everyone makes mistakes. And in this game, okay, I don't want it to be over here yet. I want to come around here later on. Uh, okay, I might actually fall in here. Okay, thank God, thank God. So we actually need to make our way over, over here into this cave, and this is where the next thing is gonna go. There should be a cauldron around here. Um, yeah, right over here. Let's throw it in. Uh, or not, let's just totally miss. And I'm pretty sure the rice will go in here. When I, when I was a kid, this used to always stump me, by the way. Uh, I could never actually find out where this, this rice goes, and now I think about it, it's obviously it's going to go in a cauldron for some kind of soup or whatever. Uh, so that's actually the aim, because it doesn't seem to be just flying in like every other thing does. There we go. And it's going to give us da -da -da -da, a coin. And this coin is the one which has got the Easter egg on. It's, it's, it's Dan Johnson. Good old Dan Johnson, which... I respect Dan Johnson, like, I don't know if you can see it better here. Uh, you can kind of make out his face a little bit. Uh, it looks a bit like Bernie from Rooster Teeth, if I'm honest. And we know where this goes, this goes straight in the fountain, because I, I pointed out earlier. Again, if you didn't know, you probably wouldn't even notice it goes here, but throw it in the fountain. Or, or not. Oh my god, that is really glitching out big time. That is proper glitching out. Um, can, can I get it? Oh, thank god. And it's going to give us the mysterious pencil. Uh, the press is going to be happy. I can't believe that pencil glitched out there. We have a lot of weird glitches in this level, if you think about it. Like, we've had a fair few. Like, with the whole elephant on top of the bridge earlier on, and now that. That's, that's, that's pretty weird. Anyways, Professor, enjoy your pencil and give me that orb. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. Alora says she thinks I'm going to lose it. Okay, well, you, you technically are going to lose it by giving it us, so... Thank you very much, and, uh... Enjoy your pencil. I can't believe I died at that, that, that mini quest, by the way. That little quest earlier on. I, I just can't believe I died. I don't suck that much. Okay, I'm curious. So, so, so we need another 61 gems. And to be honest, 61 gems isn't that many. As you can see, there is a few gems around. There's, there's even the um, this thing we, which we need to get right here. So let's pop that and actually get the 10 there. Okay, we can't actually get up there. I kind of glad I, I, I kind of hesitated there. Also, a few gems down here with the. Good old otters, what killed me? God damn you, otters! Are they otters? I, I don't, I don't know. Plat, plat pie, maybe? I, I don't know. Um, we're gonna try to get as many gems as we can. We've got, we've got to be getting closer to the actual final total. Ooh, there's actually some more in it. Ooh, okay. I almost missed this area. I'm kind of glad I actually came in here now. Um, okay, let's get this. Boom, five and five. How many do we have left now? Fifteen. I think fifteen's a good number. Where I know there's gonna be fifteen just out in public because. Normally this game works on like round numbers. Normally there's like five near a place you have to be or something stupid. Uh, as you can see, there is a fair few over there, which we just, we just get up here by jumping on a little pad. And uh, I want to actually get these gems. Actually, some more gems over here. Oh wow! Oh wow! So if you remember, this is the place where I was at, at early, and I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to get these gems yet. I want to get them now. So this is our second orb of the, le uh, the th our third orb even. Of a level. Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. Will do, Basil. So, Basil says, Spyro, a friendly face. We've never seen Basil in our life. By the way, this should be all of them. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've never seen him before in our life, but we do have a new quest right now. We have to get we do some egg thieves, but they're not egg thieves, they're squirrels. And they've stolen Basil's spark plugs. So Basil's kind of view there, like how he mentions, oh, a familiar face. It makes you wonder, was Basil kind of planned to be in a different level? Oh god, balls! Oh, for God's sake, these squirrels, man. These are worse than the egg thieves. It makes you wonder, did ba uh, was Basil meant to be in another level? Maybe, maybe. Um, I'm actually trying to think of a level here, but I can't really think of any uh, which Basil would be relevant. Uh, but he might have been in one. Like he could, he could actually been planned for a previous level. And the more I think about it, the more I do think, oh, he could have been perfect for, I don't know, Scorch or something, since we did see some human characters in there with the whole uh, Earthbound characters. I know, I know they're not called Earthbound, you know, Hansel and Gretel, but you never know, you never know. Um, okay, by the way, this is very hard to do, like, and I, I, I hate Egg Thief levels. Come on, get him. Yes, that's one spark plug. So I'm pretty sure, uh, the camera's glitching out, by the way, this is not ideal. Um, 
There we go. It actually looks like a pen, but it's a spark plug. There's four of them, and I'm pretty sure every time you complete one, another one spawns somewhere. So, yeah. I'm um, keeping my eyes open. Ooh, did I see one down here? Yep. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to lie. These guys, by the way, have got fantastic jump heights. They can jump ridiculously high. Okay. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Just keep flaming. Just keep flaming. We're going to get them at least one once. Come on. Come on. This one's probably the easiest. If you want to do that charge, I'm just going to know I can get this guy with a flame. There we go. There's the second one. So I'm pretty sure there's two up top as well. There's one in the cave, and I'm pretty sure there's one right near the Basil the Explorer, if I remember right. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Uh, so let's have a look around the cave. Yeah, I saw one over there. Uh, to be honest, on your first playthrough, you probably would spend a lot of time looking for these guys, because these guys are annoying to find. Like, if you don't know where you're looking, you could be looking for absolutely ages for these. It makes you wonder as well, what happens if you don't have the power up here? Like... Like, like, could they use the power-up as well, maybe? Or can you just... I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm just really hypothesizing as per usual. Uh, okay, that was a good catch, good catch, okay. Wait, where are you guys at? Oh! I, got, I mean, I got ahead somehow. Uh, I was like, ooh, good, good. <laughs> okay, and there's the other one right near Basil, as I predicted. Uh, of course, when you chase them, they can go the opposite way round, which is always a bit interesting, like, when, when you kind of throw them off a little bit. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm, I kind of wish I went down here before for the, the good old, uh, I like, right now to get them. By the way, these, uh, squirrel things, I don't know, would, would they be classed as squirrels? I actually run at the same pace as us, so you kind of have to take a bit of a shortcut here and there. Uh, come on, come on. G give me that squirrel, come on. Get it, get it. Yes, boom, get wrecked. And there we go, we've got all four spark plugs. Very difficult to get, by the way. Wahoo! I'm back in business! Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Okay, thank you very much. And there we go, we actually get another orb, which is going to put our collection up to 60. I'm pretty sure we're only missing four more orbs now. I thought it was we, there were 60 orbs in the game, but I guess not. I'm guessing there's only 64. I'm pretty sure we've got a level left, so... Huh. I think we've got one more level left, but as you can see, the fountain is now on, so all the, the water wizards are now buzzing. Um, next to Dan Johnson coins in the fountain, but uh, as you can see, if he falls asleep now, he's got a gong to wake him up. It's pretty mean, and, and he even like hits him on the head with <laughs> with just some kind of thing, and he, he starts dropping off again. And of course, he was gonna hit the gong again. It's, it's not good to sleep on the job, mate. Mate, it's not good. It's not good. So we've got one more level to do, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. It's my favorite level in the game, if I remember right. And I think. I have only got one level left. I want to make sure that we have. Um, yeah, we have. We've got one more. And I'm pretty sure that's going to have four orbs. And if, if I remember right, that was put up to 64. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's not there. There, It's right over here. And we're actually going to get introduced to a new power-up in this level in the next episode, which I'm really excited for. Anyways, Professor, unlock the portal. I can see you've learned the value of orb, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. Okay, thank you very much. So there we go, Metropolis. What better way to end the game off by heading into the city in Metropolis, which, to be honest, probably my favourite level in the game, and I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be, it's probably the, one of the easy levels in the game, but it's so fun. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time more Spyro 2, where we're gonna go and play Metropolis, and we're gonna get 100% of all the orbs and gems in the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Take care, and peace.